Are you feeling deflated and unmotivated? Do you need a mindset shift? I got you. I go through these periods regularly of feeling unmotivated, deflated, negative, pessimistic, the list goes on and on. And the one thing that always helps me without fail is consuming positive and inspiring content, like intentionally seeking out things like podcasts and YouTube videos that I know are going to challenge me and inspire my mindset. I've done the hard work and the research for you so you don't have to, and I have found four podcasts and YouTube channels that I highly recommend introducing into your regular content consumption, including my all-time favorite at the end, so make sure you stick around until then. Number one, Mel Robbins. This has been quite a recent find for me, but it has had such an impact on my life. I recently turned 36. I know it's hard to believe. And I'll be honest, I was feeling like I was having an actual mini breakdown the week leading up to my birthday. I really was a mess. You know, I'm all about being real. I talk a lot about fighting the feeling of feeling left behind in life or having a fail because you didn't quite hit the life stage you felt like you should be at at a certain age. But the week leading up to my 36th birthday, all of that went out the window. Like I'm being for real here. And I'm not too proud to admit like all the things that I say to you, pfft, nope. I was in my feelings. I was feeling overwhelmed and depressed and anxious and upset that I felt like I had no future or I didn't have the life that I want. All of those things are flooding through my brain. I think it's really important for me to say this, to say that I have bad weeks too. I'm not immune. I am a firm believer of everything that I say, but I also as a human have moments of anxiety and fear and doubt. That's totally normal and I wanna be 1000% transparent about it. I got to a point when I was feeling uh, exceptionally depressed. It got to, I think a couple days before my birthday and I was like, okay, Tori, what would you say to someone else going through and feeling the way that you do? You would tell them to go consume some positive media, something encouraging and inspiring. And so I remember that on TikTok, I had seen a woman called Mel Robbins. I had seen her channel, but I had also seen her being interviewed by different people as well. And so I went and I found her YouTube channel because I knew I needed something a little bit more than just the short form. And I found this podcast that she did and I listened to it for an hour and a half and it changed everything. Like actually, specifically one thing that I saw and heard hit my heart really hard and kind of changed a lot for me. Mel Robbins showed an old video of herself that she had taken on one of her birthdays and it was a few years back and she recorded herself explaining how she just hit a wall in life. Like she was depressed and anxious and life just sucked. She felt stuck. She then showed and explained how her life dramatically changed from that point and the positive and honest steps she took in order to shift her mindset and completely and drastically change her life. One of the points that I learned from this, and honestly, I just ran with, was how important it was to really think about the kind of person you wanna be. Even if that version of yourself seems like so far away and almost impossible to reach, it's so important to have in your head where you want to go, who you want to be, the kind of person you want to be. And as I just explained, the week leading up to my 36th birthday felt like a slow train wreck. I didn't feel happy or excited at all. But after hearing that podcast, I woke up on my birthday and I decided I was going to act like the happy person I wanted to be, the grateful person I wanted to be to have lived to see another year. And I had a really wonderful day because I chose to. It was a decision. Could I do everything that I wanted to do? No, I was actually in the middle of having a chronic illness flare up. So I was very limited as to what I could do, but I decided to have a good birthday and I put all my effort into doing that. So I have brought all of the Mel Robbins media into my weekly routine and oftentimes into my daily mindset routine. And it's really, really helped, like honestly. So if you have not heard of Mel Robbins or you've not taken the time to properly check her out, I highly recommend doing so. She is just incredible. And I will leave her link down below. So the next podcast channel that will help shift your mindset is Jordan Peterson's channel. So I usually like to watch him on YouTube um, because I enjoy actually like watching him. I find him absolutely fascinating. I think Jordan Peterson is absolutely incredible. Like even if you don't agree with everything he says, you can learn so much from how he thinks, 
how he approaches life, how he stays as objective as he can, and also his brain. Like he is an intelligent guy. I honestly could listen to him like 24 seven. And the reason for this is even when I watch a video that I've probably seen like 28 other times, I learn something new. There is so much meat in his content. And oftentimes it takes me listening to a podcast for a few times to really digest it. I particularly think the way that he explains the different sides of human nature, absolutely amazing. The better we can understand how and why we as humans work, especially our minds, the more then we can have control over our mindsets, over our thoughts, and then of course, over our actions. My dad used to always tell me that the reason you go to university is not necessarily for the degree that we specifically choose. You actually go to university to learn how to think. I didn't quite understand this until after I graduated, but he was absolutely right. It was much more than me just saying, I got a bachelor's of science with honors in computing. It was actually how to teach my mind how to think how to teach my mind to approach different problems, to teach my mind how to be as objective as it could. My higher education was there to help me learn how to deal with different mental processes. Why am I saying all of this? What does this have to do with Jordan Peterson? Watching and listening to his podcast reminds me so much of going to university and learning how to think. Because even though a lot of the information he presents is highly intellectual, a lot of it for the first time at least, you know, it goes over my head and it's really fast paced. It challenges me in such a positive way in how I think. And it teaches me different ways in which I can use my mind. And all of these reasons are why I recommend this channel when you're trying to shift your mindset. The third podcast is Diary of a CEO. I pretty much religiously watch the Diary of a CEO podcast. It doesn't matter if I know the guest or not. I am just enamored by the quality of information you get when you watch an episode. Stephen Bartlett does such an incredible job in how he hosts his guests and the questions that he asks. Like, he's just amazing. You can literally learn anything from this channel, but 10 out of 10 times, you will hear something that's going to positively impact your life for the better. Let me give you a personal example real quick. So if it wasn't for the show, my mom and I would have never heard about the chimp paradox. And this book, and she will tell you, has very much changed our lives. The book has put into words things that we could never have explained about our minds and how we work and how we react and why. But yeah, these are things that we deal with every single day. And it is so refreshing to learn about ourselves in such a beneficial way. If you have not read the book yet by Professor Steve Peters, then I'd highly recommend that be the next book that you get. I think you should prioritize getting this before the end of the year. And to help you guys out, I'll put a link down below. Full disclosure, there are going to be affiliate links. And so anything that you click does help me out. So I could not recommend the Diary of a CEO podcast more. It will literally broaden your mental horizons and it will introduce you to a world of renowned experts that maybe you've never even heard of. Maybe you didn't even know existed. So make sure you add this podcast into your regular routine. We have come on to my favorite podcast for changing your mindset. This particular channel, I hold very dear to my heart. If you are someone that values content that is real and honest and genuine and relatable, this is where you need to go. Drum roll, please. For those of you who don't know, I can't roll my R's or my tongue. So I just go, the Tori Grace channel. This one right here. You guys are already in the right spot. For real though, sometimes it takes someone who has been in the trenches like you have to help give you a light at the end of the very dark tunnel that you are facing. I really pray that I can show you through all of my content, whether it's on here, on Instagram, TikTok, wherever, that there is a way out of this deep, dark hole that you feel stuck in. I don't know all of the answers, but I do have a lot of life experience, especially when it comes to mindsets and also major life disappointments. You know, and this includes dealing with and surviving the unexpected that life throws at us. Resilience is not a genetic trait. Resilience is taught and it's chosen. And if you would like to know five easy ways for you to start being more resilient and actually practice being resilient, I will put the link to that video right here. I get so many DMs from people telling me that they are stuck and they're depressed and they literally tell me that they don't have much of a choice but to stay stuck in that negative place. Ugh, I feel for every single person who feels that way. I have been there and I've been very open about my journey through that. And there are still gonna be days where I feel that way. That's normal. But I hope I can be an example to you on this channel of not perfection, but of someone who has bit and kicked and scratched to get out of that dark hole. And the only way I could see of getting out of that is 
if I'm going to be honest, just not existing in life anymore. And I mean that in the most literal sense. We absolutely need experts. Don't get me wrong. We need people like Jordan Peterson and Mel Robbins. We need academics and successful entrepreneurs that have paved the way before us. But we also need to listen to people like ourselves who get it and perhaps who are a little further on in their journey than you are so that actually they can help you and show you that life can improve and that you have so much more of a choice in your story than you have ever realized. Let me be that for you here. I promise even when I don't have the answers to everything because I won't, that I will research and I will educate myself in order to help you along your life path, to help you along the journey that you're in. So if you would like to be part of our cozy little family that we have here, then make sure you hit that subscribe, come and find me over on Instagram and TikTok and you know, get involved in the comment section down below. I really would love to hear from you. I am always, always happy to see you and I mean that genuinely. I'm running out of time, every day goes by so fast And every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing